Hi friends, and welcome to Tiny Technical Tutorials, where we do bite-sized lessons for today's tech. We did a previous video on this channel about morph transitions in PowerPoint. Link above and below for that. And I wanted to do even more because they're pretty fun. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create a slideshow, something like this, to highlight your favorite photos. We'll see how you can really get your audience's attention with something like this. And finally, we'll see a really impactful transition, maybe something like this with your circles. You can do all of those things using morph transitions in PowerPoint. This is a feature that rolled out with PowerPoint 2019. Let's go build out those examples together. Let's start with the slideshow example. I'll zoom out here so you can see I've actually got four different photos on this slide, and we're just moving them across the screen to the left. This will be the first slide we're starting with. I'll just duplicate this one. Grab all the pictures here, and then transition them to the left. This time we want the second photo in the center of the slide, just like that. And then I'll do the same thing, and we'll just slowly move these over to the left of the slide. So this next one will highlight the Antarctica photo here. Try to keep things aligned vertically. There we go. And then finally, We'll duplicate that one more time, and this will be the last photo in the center of the slide. So just moving everything over, and there we go. You can see over on the left a preview of the different slides that are in the center. That looks perfect. And then the magic happens with the morph transition. The morph transition basically says take this slide PowerPoint, work your magic, and make it look like this slide. So it's going to do the sliding of the photos for us between these slides. So we don't need to do anything on the first one as far as the transition, but for the second, third, and fourth slide, I'm selecting those just by hitting the control button, we'll come up to transitions and morph. And you see you get a little bit of a preview there, but let's back up to this first one, start the slideshow, and here we go. See everything's moving there nicely to the left. And there's our last photo. Pretty easy, huh? All right, let's take a look at the second example. This one is to really get your viewers' attention. Let me zoom in a little bit on this one. We don't need the full view. This is just one image on a red background. What we want to do is take this image and really enlarge it on the next slide so it really grabs the attention. And then we'll transition back to this exact same slide. So I'll duplicate this one. That will be the third slide. And then in between, we need the slide with the enlarged image. So here I'll just grab the image. We do have text in here that we're going to need to resize as well. But I'll grab this, resize it, so it takes up the whole vertical height here. And maybe just for a little bit more transition, and contrast, we'll format background, let's make this black instead of the red, and then we'll move the text over and increase the size. Let's bump this up to maybe 60, see if that'll fit. Okay, perfect. So we're saying go from this slide, PowerPoint is going to magically resize everything and transition to this slide, and then go back to the original size. But to make that happen, we need to add the morph transitions. So I'll select this slide 18, hit the control button, select slide 19, and then up here, transitions, morph, and we should be good to go. Let's play this in slideshow mode. There's the first one, and there we go, hey! and then back. You might want to play with the timing on that just so it goes a little bit faster, more grabbing of the attention, but that's all you need to do as far as the morph transitions. All right, our final example here is a really impactful transition. So we're starting with an agenda slide. I do have a video of walking through how to create this one. If you're interested in that, check out the link above and below. And we've got a second slide here that's also using the same shapes, those circles, to display a timeline. So maybe between these two, we want something really kind of wow and in your face to transition between the two as you're kicking off your meeting. So for this, I'll just duplicate the slide. 
we're going to use the circle as the common shape across these three different slides. And the transition is going to take those circles and resize and move them around. So let's do something pretty bold here. I'll just grab this circle. And I want it to cover up the whole slide eventually. And we want it to be in front of that text. So we want everything to get hidden behind these circles. So I will bring to front. And then I'll do the same thing with these other circles. We'll resize them to different sizes. You don't have to be perfect with this, but let's bring to front. And I'll do the same thing. I'll just resize these, make them larger so they're covering up the text, bring them to the front. I'll continue that and be right back. Okay, so I've sized all of those circles and covered up the text. Let's just go add a little bit more interest to these though. I'll select everything. Format object. Let's see what we have for pattern to fill. And you can choose whatever you'd like. Let's try this just for a little bit of contrast. Perfect. All right, the last thing we need to do is to add the morph transitions. We're going to start with this first slide. Those circles are going to morph into this here, so covering up all the text and then they will morph into these circles here on this slide as you continue your deck. So we just need the morph transition on these second two slides, slide 21 and 22 in my case, come up to transitions, morph, and then let's play that from the top. So I'll go to slideshow mode, there's our agenda, here go the bubbles, and then we'll transition to this next one with the timeline. Pretty cool, huh? All right, there you have it. That's how to work with PowerPoint transitions to make a more professional and engaging slide deck. If you found the content valuable, please consider liking, subscribing, and sharing.